Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender tutorial. So today we will talk in depth about areas in Blender. What are areas, how to create them, how to remove them, how to resize them, how to swap them, etc. So what are areas first? There are these rectangles here. A bunch of areas like this make what is called a workspace. And workspaces you can see here as tabs. So each workspace has specific areas in it and in each area there is an editor so if you go to a corner here you can choose which editor you want in that area so here we have the viewport for example and we can change it to anything like for example the driver editor here here we have the timeline here we have the outliner let's change back to 3d viewport the first thing you can do with areas is to resize them and that's a very simple task. So you just go over the border here and you see this double arrowed cursor here and you can left click and drag it like this. You can drag this for example or this etc. To create a new area or to add a new area you go to one of these corners here between the areas and you can see when you do that a cross here or here. And to create a new area in this space, for example, you will need to be on this area here and then go to one of its corner and drag inward. So if you drag inward in an area, you create a new area. And we can also drag vertically to have a horizontal new area. So here again, we go to the corner and we drag vertically like this downwards and we get another new area. To join areas you do the same, you are on your area here, you go to its corner and instead of dragging inward you drag outward and here you see these arrows here and you see one of the areas is dimmed, the one that is dimmed and the arrow is pointed towards it, it means that it will be closed or shrunk. So. We release the left mouse button and voila, we closed our area. But when doing one of these two things, creating your areas or joining areas, make sure to be over your area when going to the corner and not over the border here. Because if you are on the border, you can also go to its extremity or its end and you will have this cross here. And now if you left click and drag, it will be unpredictable. You won't know if you are dragging outward or inwards from an area. Now, I don't want to complete this test, so I just do a right click, or you can hit escape and you get out of your operation before finishing it. So again, make sure that you are over an area, you go to its corner, inwards will create a new area, escape to cancel the operation, and outwards will join the areas. Again, escape or the right mouse button before you release your left mouse button. Now maybe you don't like dragging, so there is another method that is the right click button. So you go over a border or over a corner and right click, you get this menu here for a vertical split, a horizontal split to join areas and also to swap areas. So if you click vertical split, for example, you will get this line here to split an area vertically. You can take this line wherever you want on any area and also you can hit tab to switch between vertical split and horizontal split. And also you can use the middle mouse button to switch. Then you left click to split or escape or right click to cancel. The swap areas will swap the neighboring or adjacent areas. So if you hit it here, you swap between the timeline and the viewport. Again, right click swap areas and they are back to their places. Also, if you hit join here, you can see that you can extend this viewport area here. And in this case, the timeline wasn't closed, but it was just shrunk. So this space was taken from the timeline, but it was wasn't closed and you can do again right click join areas and you can extend it again and take back that space you can also have an area in a whole new window that is by going to view area duplicate area into new window it's a little bit hard to see but you can see the x here and you can move this window here resize it and put it wherever you want if you have multiple monitors this will be very handy because you can take this window and put it in your other monitor you can also create a new window by going to a corner to the area you want to duplicate hit shift and then left click and drag a little bit outward and here you go we have another window 
let's close this one there's also another cool feature the swap content you go to a corner of an area let's choose the timeline instead of viewport like this corner for example you hit control and then left click and you see this new icon here that shows two windows or two areas and then you go over another area and you release your left mouse button and you swap those areas let's move this guy here let's do it again make sure you are over the area you want to swap first go to its corner Control left click move it here you see that these two areas are not neighbors release and voila you can do it even with this window here again to the corner control left click and move it here and now it didn't work because I guess blender is favoring the window in which the area is instead of this window but we can do it from this window to this window so if you go here to this corner control again left click you can do it from here and if you have like this window is not over the other window like it's on another monitor for example or we can just put it here on the right side and we put the other window on the left side now we can do both take this viewport control left click and swap here and we can do in the other direction you can also expand an area by going over it and then control space bar to make it take the whole screen and you still have your top bar here and your status bar to go back to your initial view you hit this button back to previous or you do again the shortcut control space bar and you can full screen an area by going over it and do control alt space bar and this time you don't have any of the tool bars or the top bar or the status bar you just have full screen and to go back you do the shortcut Control alt space or go here to the top right and you can see now a small icon here that you left click to go back you can customize any of these workspaces here or you can create a new workspace by doing like right click on the name of the workspace and do duplicate or you can go let's use the wheel of the mouse we have a lot of workspaces here you hit this plus button you do either duplicate current or you add one from these pre-made workspaces let's do duplicate current and now we have where is it yes layout 001 you can rename it and you can arrange the areas as you want if you have a project you can save your project and the next time you open it you will find your areas like this and you can also save your startup file by going to file defaults save startup file and every time you open blender you will find the custom workspace you made so this is it i guess thank you for watching this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments please also check my gumroad a lot of awesome files there everything is connected to free tutorials on this channel thank you for watching and see you in another video peace